we're good. The tripod. We're live. Hi. Happy Memorial Day. <sighs> this light just went there, eh? Yeah, well, the door is a distraction. It shows up when it Which shows door? up. That door? That door, yeah. I always try to keep that door out of it. Oh, gotcha. Well, then you can come in here and set up the head camera angles. I did. I adjusted it. <sighs> Changed what you did. All right. Well, I did a hazy last time. Ooh, did you see that um, multicolored anyway? Ooh, I, that uh, southern wrist. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, that one. I didn't know if you wanted that or not. I mean, I'll take it. God, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Was not what I was going to go for today, but go I for whatever you want. No, no. <laughs> the things in this drawer are, are safe because they are mine. I thought I had. I thought I did remember that. Oh, but good. I lost that one. Hello. Yeah. Well, hello there. Do we have Hi. people? I don't know. Do we have people? I don't know. You're on the. Yes. Thing. Well, I'm. Oh, I'm not on it. Oh yeah, Pam is here. Hey. hey. Pam, Pam, we've been having a discussion about how it's not just musicians that, you know, put off doing things and all that sort of stuff. What do you do? <laughs> we never put anything off. No, no. Not us. Even though last week I said, let's pick one of the Silver Glens tunes. Look, the uh, the uh, consensus was, Steve, pick the tune that comes easiest off your fingers. <laughs> so I'm putting that fully on Dad. I reminded him yesterday. And we've got one. Yes, we do. Let's Let's get of our teeth. It. Boy, that's pretty. It is. So I hope everyone who lives in the States is having a lovely Memorial Day. People outside of the States can have a lovely Memorial Day as well. Well, yeah, I hope, I hope people outside it's of the a, States are having day. a lovely May 31st. It's a, it's a work day for them. Work? I mean, do they enjoy their work? It could still be a good day. Know. They could. They could. This glass is barely not big enough. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> nope, it's going to work. It's gonna work. It's gonna a make 16 it ounce glass and a 16 ounce can. Huh? Yep, it worked. So is it warming ah. up? That is it warming up again up there yet, Pam? Down here, it's warming up. Oh yeah, nicely. Although last night it got to like six, it was down to 60 degrees, which was Glorious. amazing and wonderful. Man, I loved it. Eddie Knight is watching. Hi, Eddie. Oh, how how's your pool? <laughs> is, is it empty? I can help you with that. Empty, of, empty of water or a empty little bit of, of empty of people. Oh, okay. Or a little bit of England right around the corner. And yeah. there's Bill. How are you doing, Bill? Oh, we yeah. actually had another competition this past weekend. And I played it having been sick for like four days straight. Yes. With a respiratory thing. So that made it really fun. I kind of just recorded, I think I got one take of two of my tunes and was just like, Nope, not doing any more of that. And then I had, then I struggled for like an hour with my hornpipe and jig, and then finally made it through all the way, the all the whole uh, set once. It took me an hour to make it through the whole set once, and then I was like, "That's it, I'm done." So interestingly enough, I guess we've we've turned a mental corner because it never occurred to me to think it might be COVID. Well, it, it wasn't because uh, I, I never thought it was COVID. I never had a fever. I never lost taste. I never, like, no. Never lost, no, but I never thought about that stuff until Josh said something Saturday when I was there. Ah, and oh, I yeah. Said, I, and I said, no, she doesn't, she still has her smell and her taste, so mm -hmm. I guess it's not COVID. Well, and it was just one of those weeks because I had gotten um, my COVID vaccine, finally. Finally! Finally! So we're, I mean, well, it'll be another week yeah. before we're technically in the clear but I uh I got the Johnson and Johnson because Jill and I are going to be going up to Arkansas in less time than I that it would take me to get the second shot yes <laughs> so I wanted to be completely covered before I went up there and mingled with all of those people from all over the place 
Pam says it's getting, it's, she says it's a little warmer and the sun is back out. Hey, Mark! We haven't seen you for a while, have we? I don't think so. Yeah, lovely to see you. So anyway, um, so Memorial Day, we've been, um, well, Steve and Jillian went out sailing this morning. And yesterday. And yesterday. We were, were uh, fancy like that. So fancy. <laughs> it's really funny. We've had the sailboat since high school, and I was just sending Snapchats of a lake to my friends because, you know, that's what we do with Snapchat. And they're all like, you own a sailboat? Oh my God, you're so bougie. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, I'm literally like super sweaty and gross right now. This is not, there's nothing bougie about this boat. Translation for those of you who, like me, might not be up on current lingo, bougie is short for bourgeois. Yeah, fancy, basically. Right. But like a specific type of fancy. They're just jealous because they don't have a sailboat. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, we've got a lot of people lining up to get on the boat now. Oh, do we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well. That's fine. Yeah, whenever they want to go, I'm good with that. Tell them I don't need you on the boat. You can, they can come without you. Oh, and Martin's here. Hey. And Pam says that yeah, you know, it's it is still possible for people to get Heckles. something yeah. that is not COVID. I know. Can you believe it? It's impressive. Yeah, it was it was that really like frustrating type of head cold where like I didn't have a fever. I was just tired and sneezing and coughing a lot, and I couldn't really do anything. And, like, I even had to call out of work because nobody wants me sneezing into their beer. And or, or, and, and if they do, then I worry about them. Um, <laughs> that's, yeah, 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 I don't want to kink shame there or anything. There may be but, one or two that do, but they're yeah. not, you know. Yeah, but anyway, but, like, I felt fine, mostly, except for the, you know, coughing. The, the three days when you laid in the chair and slept? Yeah. Fine, except for those three binged days. Watched. And binge watched. Binge watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is the only thing you binge watch. Okay, look. The Vampire Diaries is a very popular show, and I hate watching it. <laughs> I, am, I am watching it because this Victoria Justice looking bitch is just running around like, Oh my god, vampires. No, Stefan, you're a vampire. I can't be with you, but I'm still so drawn to you. But you're a vampire. But at least you don't kill people. <laughs> But then your brother's really hot too, but he's psychopath. And I'm like, look, the, the psychopath brother's more interesting. Just go that way. <laughs> you know, when yeah. Jillian was in high school, they wanted her to try it for talented drama. But uh, I had to put the kibosh on that because she was already in talented music. I would have been great in talented drama. And gifted. And ROTC. So, junior ROTC. So she kind of had all of her extra time taken up. But yes, you would have been great. Yep. And hey, Jean, how's it going? Funny. All right, well, so it's it's um, Memorial Day. <clears throat> we have uh, one piece that is is based on Gregorian chants that we'll play. You can well, talk about I'll that. I'll talk about that. Um, oh, we okay, have, that makes a lot of sense. I yes. didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. I have a, a new jig that I'm going to attempt to play without a finger brace. Uh, for those of you who have been with us for this ordeal, the finger is better. We massage it every night. Back to with, Leslie. Yeah, and the night before. And actually the night before that. It's been three days now. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. But the finger is better and uh, and more controllable, so I'm going to attempt to play this without the, the brace. And if it comes out, awesome. And if it doesn't come out, then I'll put the You've brace heard on us mess up before. There. That's, That's the, right. the, the, the joy of live music. It won't be the first time you hear me mess up. And if I'm feeling feisty, I have a horn pipe that I actually might be able to play. And I am playing it with the music just because. Yeah, we're playing everything with music today. We are unprepared, but I'm sure y'all are so surprised we're by that. Prepared. Well... We are not memorized. We're not off book. Well, at least we're playing music that they haven't heard before. That is true. We're playing new stuff for you guys. <coughs> Jill and I actually... <laughs> we actually just played this tune together, and it came off the fingers very well. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully... <sighs> it's called Pipe Major Joe Wilson. And it's a jig. Written by Angus MacDonald. <laughs> Of course it did. The camera came 
on and that just that wore out. Yeah. So you gonna try it with the brace now? I'm gonna try it with the brace. Yeah. yeah cool. Yeah. I think you should. Do you know how many live music? Do you know how many beers there are named Windy Peppercorn? I don't know. That. How many are there? At least five. At least five. If I five. had a nickel for every beer named w Windy Peppercorn, I would have two nickels. You know, not that a whole lot, something. but strange that it happened so twice. Good. I will <laughs> tag. You. I'll tag you with this other one and check okay. that in first. You know how many dead hookers it takes to change a light bulb? At least five, because my basement's still dark. Yep. I <laughs> love that. I've forgotten that joke. All right. Uh, try try the jig a little slower, oh, Matt. Yeah, I know. Because like you and I were playing it slower than that when it came off. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we were like. Oh, like uh, da, 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 da. She flew over, she waved. Oh, did she? Yeah. Hey. So if if a if a mead is cream, then is it does it mean they have vanilla in it? Because that's what tea is, if they make a tea a cream. I wonder what that means. Because a cream ale is a completely different kind of a thing. Ah, so she says yes, you were very young. Okay, cool. So she I don't have to feel guilty then. But it's only been like twenty six years since we've seen Jean. Huh. So. I keep up with her on Facebook. She's got amazing grandkids. <laughs> we don't have any. No, that's okay. <sighs> that's okay. We, we just have to babysit. I was going to say, if, if I had kids at this point, y'all would be taking care of them, so count your blessings. We just have to babysit Already them. did. I don't want to do yeah. that. Already did. Yeah, not doing that. Yes. Um, should I try the tune that I was working on? Or? Yeah, sure, give a shot. New Music Monday? We should call it the sure. New Music Monday. Special oh, no, edition. That's, that's too scary. I know, right? Oh, oh. If we did that, made it New Music Monday, and had to learn a new tune a week. Oof. Yeah, with what? We could. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'll memorize one if you will. To quote the ancient lore, the old magic. The old magic? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Jillian's can if go. Over here. I was waiting for you to check it in, but then you didn't get a chance to. Nope. So you should taste this. Alright, so this Call is me. a horn pipe that right. I me. got from my instructor ages ago. And I picked a different one to compete with, but I still play with this one every so often. Um, we'll see how it goes. It's called Lucy Cassidy. 
It's a Keller beer. Um, a Keller beer is basically a cellar beer. Yeah, yeah. Something A's in the cellar, I guess. But, uh, but this is very nice. It's um, it got a pleasant aroma. It's got a great taste. Uh, I can't describe tastes, and so I don't try. Yeah. But uh, but it's, it's tasty. It's really good. It's tasty. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty much what I go with. Um, I'm sure that if I really felt like it, I could sit here and like pick out all the flavors. But like, all I really care about is do I like it or do I not like it. There's a small hint of lemon in it, which makes it refreshing for a summer beer. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But, but anyway, what are you drinking? I have Chop It Up by Southern Grist Brewing Company, which is in. Nashville. Um, we went, we talked about the 504 Craft Beer Reserve, didn't we? Yes. yes. Well, so I think we did. Yeah, because yeah, we, we went, some stuff yeah. on that last yeah. week. So that's one of those from that cool place that we went last weekend. Um, it is a brown ale with lactose, coconut, hazelnuts, and cocoa nibs. Or if you watch Portlandia, cacao. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very tasty. I find that I really like lactose in beer. Like, any beer that involves lactose, I'm generally going to like. You know, milkshake IPAs are a big example of that. Like, if you ever see something called a, uh, a, a milkshake IPA or a milkshake something, it's going to have lactose in it. Bad news for lactose intolerant people. We've had many come to Chifuncta and see the, uh, we have, milkshake. yeah, an Aquarius, which is the, which is a dreamsicle milkshake IPA. And they see that and they're like, oh, that sounds great. And then, and then they're like, but wait, milkshake, does it, does it have lactose? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh. So. Um, Martin wants to know the name of the tune again. Uh, it's called Lucy Cassidy. Do we know who wrote it? <laughs> I bet we can find out. I can find out. It is by George McIntyre. And the setting is as played by Alistair Gillies because Alistair it, it's Alistair Gillies. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's called Lucy Cassidy. It's a lot of fun. Um, I I picked the hornpipe that I played now for competition because it has a lot of burls in a lot of fun places, and it's like a really, I don't know. It was it was just a lot. It was it's more fun. But uh, well, burls come off your fingers very well. They so. do. I mean, there's burls in that one too. But maybe I'll maybe I'll work up both of those and just see which ones I feel like yeah. playing. And well, I have to submit twos, I guess. Yes. Bah. Virtual competitions. And hi, Kathy. Yes. Back to if, kind of. <laughs> if you want to play an old ale, that's kind of what Steve's drinking. Mm -hmm. That they just, you know, like yeah, a Keller is. beer is kind of like a table wine. It's just your plain old. It's beer, beer. Yep. Except that's from Germany, and so more flavored fun things for me and me. Um, I don't know how well you like mine, it, like I like yours. But if you want to, we can drink half and trade. I'm good with that. Me too. You're, you're going to finish an entire beer? No. She no, won't. when I say we're going to drink half and trade, that means I'm going to drink half of this, we're going to trade. And you're going to have like three sips of that yes, and then, and then you can wow. have the rest. Cool. That's too sweet. It's delicious. It's, it's, a, it's a good sipping beer. Yes. I enjoy it very much. So. It tastes like beer. It tastes like. But yeah, Martin, if you like drumming to that tune, definitely, definitely find it. You yeah, know, it's a good, good tune. Not amber or dark. Are you saying you don't want ambers or dark beers, Kathy? Is that what that means? Because, yeah. like, a Keller beer is just beer. Yeah. I mean, it's not amber. It's not dark. Yeah. It's just... Those are two of my favorite styles. I love ambers. <laughs> it's okay. You and Kathy will be yeah. fine. Exactly. Like, that. whenever whenever people like different food and drink than me, I'm always, you know, like, I'm just like, okay, cool. More for you of what you like, more for me of what I like. It's, uh... One of the few things that came out of How I Met Your Mother that I actually liked was the Olive Theory. Oh, wow. Um, where, <laughs> I met your mother. Yeah, where Marshall and Lily were married and they were super, they, they always thought they were like super compatible and then it was fate because one of them liked olives and the other one didn't. And so whenever they got something with olives, they could just give all the olives to the person who liked olives. It was very convenient. It's kind of like whenever we go somewhere and there's something, there's something with pickles, they just give the pickles to Morgan. Morgan gets more pickles. I don't have to also ask to the, uh, the server for a special anything, and it works out well. So, so um, on to the main event? On to the main event. So, several <coughs> years ago, um, Steve, as we know, Steve is a Peabrick guy. The guy, he likes the classical music. Also, he really wanted to do a Christmas CD. Well, Jillian and I weren't big on Christmas CDs. We're still having that fight. I, well, tell, I've now challenged him. Give, give, give me a track list. I'll learn it. As you can tell by the fact we don't have one out. Um, <laughs> anyway. Very true. Um, 
Oh, yeah, boy, yeah, Gene, my, my Germany is what made me start drinking beer because I realized what it really was. Um, anyway, we settled on a kind of a winter feel CD and placated Steve by making it a white cover so he could call it the White Album, which makes a him happy. <laughs> I didn't ask for that. You did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yeah. I deny it. Ha! Huh. Deny all you want. We all know your memory is shit. <laughs> yes, we do. So, um, anyway, we went on the lookout for tunes. This is an album. We, we have to revisit these tunes because we don't play these things live. Um, yeah. They're not peppy. These are, these are more thoughtful, introspective kind of <laughs> sitting by a winter fire thinking about things kind of tunes. We were kind of inspired by Sting's winter album. We were. That was the whole, that was kind of the idea. If y'all you, you haven't heard that, it's really, really it good. It really is. Yeah. So there are some holiday-ish tunes on there, but um, we, I, like I Simple went, Gifts, I think, is on right. there. Right. Yeah. I went digging around on um, a website where people post original music and found a couple of really nice pieces. Um, the one we're going to play is called Genesis Suite, and it was written by a guy named David Siegel, who lives in Israel, or at the time lived in Israel. We actually reached out to him and said, is it okay if we put your tune on our CD? And he said yes, and we made sure to mail him a copy. Um, it's, it's based on the, the style of, on the style of plain song, which is basically what Gregorian chant is. You've got the question and the answer feel to it. Um, I love this tune. We we just don't ever play it. I like it better now that I know it's a Gregorian chant. Yes. Well, and you know, he says in his notes, that because we talked about the pipe band, he says the plain song is played by a solo piper with the band coming in on the second part. Ah, okay. So that would work. So, um, anyway, Julia actually version. pulled out her Brett Enchanter and played it on that. Which so, I'll, I'll do after we play the tune. That'll be a thing. Sounds really cool on the Brett Enchanter. Yeah. Unfortunately, but, we only have one Brett Enchanter. Right. So, we will not be... You're going to need that drum. Yeah, I'm putting on the bass. Um, anyway, it's a very... It's a slow piece. It's not a dancing kind of a piece. I used to think about. Yeah, that's too far back. You, I know. I'm just oh, waiting for okay. mom to get the drums. Yeah, I used you, to you think and I about play to our base. how um <laughs> how it just sounded like walking through the you know the <laughs> woods when there's you know spirits in the woods, tree spirits and things, and just yeah. a tune just coming out of nowhere and then just getting answered and you know I don't know my imagination goes a little crazy. Yeah, I feel like you're you're talking up a tune that they may not like. Oh. Okay, sorry. We're going to play this tune. We hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> My problem is, is that while the Silver Glens album has, has been pretty popular, actually, and they both love it, it never quite sat right with me for some reason. Like, I don't think it's bad. It's just not what I would listen to. And so, and, but I, then again, I get bored very easily with bagpipe music. <laughs> The recording style too is different than what it we was. Did. Yeah, we weren't used it's, to it's it. Very it was very cathedral like with it is. sound. It is. Which not, we've not gotten a lot of compliments on that. Yeah. So, and yeah, well, we don't like it much. Yeah. And frankly, who actually likes listening to themselves perform and play? Right. Nobody. The only CD of ours that, that I listen to is Burley, and I think it's because there's just so much stuff that isn't me right. that it's okay. <laughs> so. <sighs> <sighs>
lie down. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for, for those of you that haven't heard the Breton Channer, I'm not going to put it in the pipe, but you'll get a, an idea of the sound. and flats and other things that just don't exist on the bagpipe. Someone once said, well, you know, people, you know, people tell me I shouldn't <laughs> do this, but I don't see any reason why I shouldn't try. Um, and then they do it on national television. Yeah. And during a football game, and then you have Drew Brees standing there going. <laughs> with making ugly faces. Yeah. Then he realized I, the camera was probably on him, so he, he sucked yeah. it up and straighten his face. But, but yeah, uh, there, was, there was general confusion and displeasure that day. We started getting texts all over the place. Oh god, oh, yeah. I had yeah. to go on Twitter and like tell <laughs> random strangers that no, that's not how bagpipes are supposed to sound. It our, was... Our social media lit up about halfway through that song. What the hell are they doing? It's like, we don't know. We tried so, to tell them not to. Yeah. So to, to people that, that feel like the world is trying to tell them they can't do something, but they should be able to if they want to, let me put it another way. Let's say you have the best cut of Kobe beef. You should not make a chocolate souffle out of it. You just shouldn't. It's bagpipes are made for a certain type of thing. You don't give a baritone a soprano aria. You don't have a tuba play um the rites of spring um or 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 mozart <laughs> you know i'm quite a not music can you imagine boom, 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 boom. there's there's <laughs> it could be cool that might have not have been the best yeah. example but it's just that i need to get a tuba <laughs> there are a lot of instruments that exist to play all the different music you know they are they are instruments of um like a, a, I mean, they instruments. All instruments can play these little simple things, or they can play any other tune. But if you really want to do the instrument justice, you play music written for that instrument, and that goes for everything. Yeah. You know, a violin can play "Happy Birthday." It's going to sound better on the bagpipe. No. <laughs> a violin is going to sound better playing. The Bach double, mm. or breeze. you know, you can have a violin play. Um, a, what is that? What is that tune? Baldy Concerto in A minor. No, the the the. No 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 no. Oh, um, I can never remember the name of it. It's 
one of the, yes. it's one of the um, Bach cello suites. It's, yeah. Everybody knows it. And and it can be played on a violin or a flute, but it was made to be played on a cello. Hey, Morgan. Yeah? The camera's right there. You're good. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. Uh, basically, whenever, when someone says, don't play this on bagpipes, if the answer is, because it's not traditional, screw them. That's how I got Gordon Duncan playing C Naturals. He, he was told not to do that because it wasn't traditional, and now he's a freaking legend. If the answer is, because that tune has 13 notes that do not fit on the bagpipes, it will be unrecognizable and people will throw rotten vegetables at you, maybe don't choose that hill to die on. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that, that's my uh, anyway. general... Yeah. We're, we're not trying to say don't be traditional. We're not trying to say you can only be traditional. We're saying... God knows we're not. I mean, the, the tune we just played. Not traditional. Not, not traditional. traditional. It is an adaptation of a Gregorian chant style music Yep. to fit the bagpipes. Another, no, there's nothing really more traditional than Gregorian chant. True. Well, another example is um, Orkney Wedding at Sunrise, with Sunrise. That's a weird case. That was a piece that we talked about here before, uh, where it was not actually written for some, written with any knowledge of how the bagpipes work, or what key they're in. It was right. Somebody they, was just like, "I think it. bagpipes would sound cool here," and I so they wrote right. it in. I mean, they yeah, wrote it in right. April forty. So, and that's but you have, you have to bagpipers throughout the world know that if you get asked to play that with a symphony, that you have to get a special chanter or tape the heck out of your chanter. And they didn't tell me that when I played it. But at least the sound is but, right. Uh, but then I did yeah. tape the hell out of my channel and got it down to A440, which was bare. Got it. Mm -hmm. Nailed yes. it. Played it with the Louisiana Philharmonic Orchestra. It was nice. It was, it was nice. Picked up a student. That's when I picked up... Oh, no. Up, uh, Martin Dutchess. left for a while, but he's back. Oh, no. Here, go ahead and take this. I know you're not going to drink the whole thing anyway. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> she pouring herself entire beers and then not finishing them. I'm not good at drinking. All. I'm just not... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't know why. This is well, good. this smells so good. We've been at this for 40 minutes. Is there anything else we want to do before we wrap it up? No, I think it's about time to wrap it up. their ears off about tradition. So I think tradition. <laughs> so we'll be here next week. They didn't much time before. Yes, yes, we will be here next, we'll be here next week. week. The following week we are going to take off um, because she and I are going to be at Bad Clap and Drum Camp. Um, we're going to summer camp, guys. Yay. With booze. Um, it's great true. in a dry county. Even better. Rules are made to be broken. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we're going to be gone, and it's just, it would be too much trouble to, like, try and make time among all the things, and I want to focus on my learning experience. And then after that, I will probably be trying to remote in from wherever I am. I want to say the Monday after that... I will be, hold on, I can tell you about where I'm going to be. <laughs> Let's see, I'm not going to be in Illinois. I will have been gone by then, so I'll probably be somewhere in Kentucky or Southern Ohio. Depending. Yeah. Uh, so I'll be trying to remote in. We'll see how that goes. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I'll either leave it up to those two or we'll like pre-record some stuff and post it. I'll have my small pipes, you know, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, do a little switch off, you know, you can see this is what I've been working on, and it might just be a little short Music Monday. Yep. Uh, we're, it's going to be, a, it's going to be an adventure and an experiment that we will, uh, we will all be going through together, but I'm going on an epic road trip, and By nothing yourself, can Which is awesome. If anybody has concerns about me traveling by myself, please keep them to yourselves. I am well aware of the of the dangers. I am not stupid and will be taking appropriate precautions. And we're going to get a I am not I did not die during the night <coughs> test every morning. I will be carrying bear spray and staying in state parks and on friends' couches and in hotels with locks with the locks on the doors. So we're good. My poor grandmother is already having a panic attack over me going on this adventure. But that's what makes her happy. True. It yeah. does. It does <laughs> ha panicking over things does give her a purpose. And since I won't let her panic over my perpetual singleness anymore, then she has to find other avenues. Uh, Martin asked if we were playing in the solos this weekend. I am not. What's going on this, this coming, coming weekend? weekend? 
We're not, is it? We're not playing anything. It's the oh the music Music City or something. They you know what they closed registration on that yesterday. Oh damn! But we'll have to look because Amanda said she was doing two, but the Cumberland, the first time yeah. I looked at um at the Music City competition, it said that the deadline had already passed, so they must have changed it. Mm. I guess so. Yeah. So Pam says she travels by herself frequently. Pam, you get it. Yes. This this is gonna be like my first big solo trip. I am very excited. So my first one was at seventeen. Yeah. I, went, I drove to Kansas when I was 17. That's fun. But, yeah, Martin, we did play... Uh, good job. We did compete last weekend. This this one that just passed. So. Yeah. I will say, if anybody has, like, hiking tips or camping tips or road trip snack tips, I will accept those. Healthy. Road Healthy road trip, road trip snack trips. Tips. Yes. Road. road trip snack tips. There we go. Because here's the thing. When I road trip, my go-to snack is Twizzlers. And I'm going to be on the road for a month. And I do not need to eat a month's worth of Twizzlers. I don't need to do that. That's going to be bad for everybody involved. Carrot. Popcorn. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. I can probably just get like a bag of baby carrots. But yeah. yeah. It'll be fun. But yeah, so. Gist of that. Yes, Music Monday next week. Following week, no Music Monday. But we will remind you. Yes. And on that note, I think it's probably time for Scott and the Brave. STB. Because I have a uh, bear oh naked. bear naked oh god yeah bear naked, bear naked. they make cereal oh and, yes yeah. I'm <laughs> see you said you said that Pam and I and I know what bear naked is like I've seen that brand before but it um, immediately put me back to my gym coach's advice which was <laughs> to sleep with no pants on and socks on my hands so that if anybody breaks into my tent. All I have to do is, like, jump around waving my hands out, and they'll, go, they'll just be like, oh, this bitch is crazy, and leave me alone. Yeah. I mean, it's sound advice, honestly. Like, that's not a bad just idea. Some stage blood. And if somebody comes in, just, like, dip your hands in it. Oh, I'll keep, like, a, like, like a fake blood packet, like, near my bed, and I'll, and I'll like, chew on it when I hear somebody breaking in, just, like, smile, and, like, blah, blah, blah. But if you have it on your hands with a knife. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'll be great. <laughs> yeah. Sleep with a bear head and sleep in a bear skin suit. You picked the wrong tent, motherfucker. <laughs> Come on in. Just had a party. You feel, are you feeling lucky? What are the odds of two serial killers being in the same tent at the same time? <laughs> I know, right? Watch out for the bear behind. Yep. <sighs> I'm really hoping I don't see any bears. I'm not staying I don't think like. You will. I have never seen a bear. I am not staying not like, like in the woods. I am going to be staying on, you know, designated campsites with like a little fire pit and an electrical thing. You know, Jean has seen a bear. Jean used to spend every summer in Glacier National Park. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. I never see the wildlife. My, my experiences with wildlife are usually me with somebody and the person goes, Look, an animal. And I'm like, Where? And they're like, Oh, it's gone. It's gone that's like when we drove to Canada. We never and, saw a moose. And drove across most of eastern Canada from Toronto. No, east. no mooses. No, no geese. moose. Even the postcard we sent when we got back to Maine. With a picture of moose on it. Did not arrive. Pam, sorry I missed you. Moose. She really wanted to see a moose. So we sent her and a so postcard. So much. That postcard never arrived. Anyway, see? on that note. See? <sighs>
Oh no! <laughs> what are you talking about? We played flawlessly. <sighs> and Pam, if you had a bear in your yard, that's okay. If you had a moose in your yard, I have to come for a visit. <laughs> You've seen bear. Huh? You've seen bear. Because, I have, because but on, not moose. Not moose. On Avery Island, we, they have bear. Well, that's true. I have seen bears. I, well, I saw a bear in uh, somewhere else. That's all one moose. Yellowstone. One I don't think I'd want to see either, honestly. Like, moose sound cool in concept, but, like, they're big. They're very big. Well, people say that the first time you usually see a moose is when it's coming through your windshield. Yeah. yeah exactly. Thanks, Pam. Have a good week, Pam. You too. Okay. And I think we're good. We will see you guys next week. Yes. Yes, Music Monday next week. Awkward close-up. Oh, my God. My